Hi there, welcome to Big VTV. Great to have you with us, State Champ Women, and we are literally heading into the last month of the regular Crazy. season. Hard to believe it's here already. Mm -hmm. McKinnon 81 defeated Diamond Valley 59. Ariel Thomas or Ariel, Ariel, uh, 13 points, 13 mermaid. rebounds, 10 assists. Yeah, she uh, played very well, the Little Mermaid, didn't she? Michaela Perini had 21 for DV. Nice win. Uh, McKinnon, um, Diamond Valley, uh, is it going to upset the uh, the apple cart down there because Waverley is starting to move, Steve-o? Uh, yeah, they certainly are, and I, this one took me by surprise. I could not believe when I saw the score, I thought I had it mixed up because if you had to flip the scores around, that would have probably what I've been expecting. Bulleen as well, let's not forget them. They're yeah, but ab absolutely, Bulleen's in the mix. Diamond Valley, I think, only suited up eight players-ish, thereabouts. Uh, Belinda Snell only played 16 bad. minutes, yeah. so she's uh, I think she's only played 20 minutes in total in her last two. So injured? Have we confirmed I was going to say, oh, I haven't confirmed it, but uh, you'd have to think that's the case. She's carrying something. Yeah, no, but take nothing away from McKinnon, certainly a solid win at home. Um, Thomas and the import played pretty good. Um, well, Thomas is an import. But, but the other one, I mean, yeah, you know, Matt I mean, that's the one. Yep. Um, you pronounce it a lot better than me, so I just uh, left you to do it. But um, yeah, Brady good win to the Cougars. Yeah, she well. did. Yep. It's a good game for her. Uh, Bulleen 63 went down to Knox 83. 20 points to the good, the Raiders. Rebecca Odd had 20. Lauren Pierce 30 points, 6 rebounds, 6 steals for the Boomers. Hmm. Um, Who've lost their last three. I watched this early. Against, sorry, against Hume, Ringwood, and Knox. now Knox, top three teams. Mm-hmm. Um, they were in it early. Yep. Um, I think, look, Knox got out to a little lead, but nothing that was unmanageable. Just the second half just couldn't keep it going. Yep. Um, but I remember checking, thinking, oh, who's done the damage for Knox? Very even spread. I think Ott had barely scored when I checked it yep. in the first quarter, and she ends up with 20. So yep. Yep. they just um, they got the depth, haven't they? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Hume, 78, defeated Ringwood. Oh, with Lauren, 30 points. Very good. Yeah, yeah, very good on the blue carpet. Hume, 78, defeated Ringwood, 63. Mua Laloifi, who uh, then turned around on Sunday and I think dropped 25 off the bench in her first yep. youth game of the season, mm -hmm. had 33 points for Hume City in this one. She can do that. Yep. Mel Dixon had 19 for Ringwood. And in terms of uh, maybe some, some uh, bragging rights heading into finals, mm -hmm. Your team, Hume City. Yep, they're really good. And look, that's what Moore is capable of doing. We've seen it happen. Um, but it's just what a luxury mm. for Katrina to have when you're missing Zamet. You know, she's off overseas and you think, oh, that's a lot of experience and a bit of scoring power. And she's a, the leading assist giver. And what Moore are we gonna... steps in. Moore steps in as a young yep. person and gets 30. How old is Moore? Well, she can still play youth, yeah, so 21, yeah. okay. I think, maybe? Well, they're just, 22? Just for all of our state champ women out there, should have mentioned this in the youth show as well, but mm -hmm. uh, I know the uh, the Deakin Melbourne Boomers, I know it's, uh, it's a bit of a plug, yeah, I know it's a bit of a plug, but they've got their um, development player tryouts coming up July 25. Look out for that information, but someone like Mua, you never know. Yep. Plays her cards right. You never know. Oh, she's played her cards right on the weekend, let me tell you. Yeah, great effort. Scored, uh, what, 58 points for the weekend. Thanks for coming. Warrandyte, 68, went down to Waverley, 91. Uh, the Venom certainly ran Tegan Cunningham into form. 42 points, 19 rebounds, 6 assists, Steve-O. Uh, look, I think it was a game that was coming for Tegan Cunningham. I mean, no she'd, doubt. she'd been consistent uh, to a point, but obviously no standout game. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it was just a matter of time. And unfortunately, Nicole was against uh, your mob and, and obviously was too good in the in the scheme of things. Don't mind game. Uh, Nicole Romeo had 28 for Warrandyte. Uh, there was a notable absentee for the Venom. Mm. Yeah, I wasn't there, which was a bit of a pity, because um, I like missing a game of basketball, as oh, we I don't all know don't. That, I don't know that you would have scored 20. No, no, um, I don't think I would have. So <laughs> what, what I mean is I just don't like being there. Wins or yep. losses, you want to you wanna go through it with your team when you can. Um, but you've seen plenty of Tegan over the years oh. when she gets going. Yeah, of course. Um, very great, hard Great her highly, and um, yeah, it was an absolute 
blown over performance mm. by all accounts whilst I haven't caught up with my assistants yet. Um, you know, multiple people had a crack. Most everyone um, was putting up their hand to have a go and she just managed to score on everybody and that's what she's capable of doing when at, she's on. At one stage, um, the local council were emptying the bins out in the car park and they invited the driver in to uh, just play on Tegan for the next five minutes yeah, and see if they could good. stop her. Yeah. Uh, Sullen Penn 75 defeated Melbourne 51. Britt Carter 19.7 rebounds, 6 assists, having a very good season. Uh, Ash uh, Stainer had 12.8 rebounds for Melbourne. She was the best. I think that was Courtney Midapp's last game. It was. Game. Every Correct. week they seem to have one going. One's going, yeah. Yeah, um, you know, I probably expected. Um, to be honest, I probably even expected it could have been a lot bigger, but then okay. I think that they managed to circulate minutes a lot more. I don't think the imports f played their yep. 35-ish. I think they might have played 28. Yeah, okay. Makes a difference. New, oh. News out of uh, Melbourne too is that their two imports are done. Out of Melbourne? Yeah, out of the Tigers. Melbourne Tigers. Right, okay. I don't think their imports are playing next week. Uh, Whittlesey, 42, uh, went down to Waverley, 74. Kate Oliver, 30.16 rebounds. Tegan Cunningham had another 23 in this one. I think she had 20 to half time. Um, yeah. And then handed it over to Kate in the second half. Trudy Armstead had 14 for Whittlesey, who were coming off a win into this game. Yep. Uh, but Waverley, got them in form. definitely their weekend. Yeah, well, well and truly. Great performance by Kate there as well. Eltham, 61, went down to Southern Penn, 89. Caitlin Melito, 28 and 12 for the Sharks. Georgia Dale, 14 for Eltham. I don't know that we've really touched on Eltham that much, Steve, but mm -hmm. gee, they've dropped off. Uh, yeah, certainly been a disappointing season. Went down to Whittlesey by 20 last week. Um, and that probably capped it off last week. Uh, Bottom, bottom of the barrel that they mm. could get to. So, um, obviously going up against Southern Ten. Right yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because that's that's the next goal. Because otherwise, at the end of the season, they could be looking at the uh, below Dropping leagues. Down. Yeah. Uh, Knox seventy six to Freedom McKinnon sixty one. Corinne Campbell twenty three and eight. So Knox get a couple of wins on the weekend. McKinnon split their weekend. Nat Vandenadel had nineteen. I think fifteen point margin between the pairs about right. I'd agree. Ladder, Steve. Hume City, 14 and 1. Title favourites. According to the two of you? Well, I think they're title favourites. According favorites. to me, yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Knox, 13 and 2. Ringwood, 14 and 3. Southern Peninsula, 13 and 3. Diamond Valley, 9 and 6. Waverley, 8 and 7. So that's the top six. Put a line under Waverley. Bulleen have just played and lost to the top three teams over the last two weeks. So you'd, you would think... Uh, an easier run coming up for Bulleen from here. Correct. The Boomers are seven and nine. McKinnon six and nine. Warren Dyke five and ten. Altham and Melbourne both two and fourteen. Whittlesey one and sixteen. Mind you, those two wins for Waverley on the Huge. weekend. Yeah, massive wins for them. Here we go. Round fourteen. Diamond Valley take on Warren Dyke. <sighs> well, Diamond Valley been a little bit up and down lately, but I think at home they can win this. I think DV at home. Mm -hmm. uh, Friday night game, I might add. Yeah, it is Friday night. We should mention yep. that. Well done, Nicole. It is this Friday night. I might head out and watch that, look at some players. Um, chuck on a Venom jumper? <laughs> maybe, maybe chuck on a Venom jumper. there'll be a few Diamond Valley jumpers down there, I would think. So okay, all right. Might uh, get them out of the closet. Appreciate I've got a few in there yeah, from thanks. over the years. Appreciate um, it. What I will say is this, and I said this last week as well, if Warren Dyke's two guards uh, play well, and mm -hmm. they did last week... Um, uh, they scored 46 between them, I think. Something like that. Um, so they played very well uh, last week, uh, Romeo and Dargan. They just didn't have the, the height to go with uh, Cunningham and Oliver. Mm -hmm. A little bit the same here. If their guards get going, if, uh, if Dargan and Romeo get going, DV may struggle to hold them. So I think it's going to be a very close contest. But I'll, I'll go DV at home. Bulleen take on Whittlesey. Here's that easier game, you would think, coming up for Bulleen. You would think, but Bulleen haven't been suiting up many players. I don't know if they're struggling with numbers between their youth and their seniors. It'd be interesting to know if that clashes. Well, they brought Morgan Bailey off the bench on the weekend. Yeah, so, so Bulleen, look, Bulleen That's should win the game. Pierce. That was the reason for that. Okay, fair Andrew enough. Pierce came back, yeah. Bulleen, um, Bulleen should win the game. Oh, yeah. Bulleen should win. But they have gone. Well, they have to win. They have been going in with lesser numbers off yep. the benches. On so. have to win, Steve. -O. Yeah, and I think they do. Uh, Knox take on Southern Penn. Great good game. game. Really good game. 
third versus sorry second versus fourth Knox at home for me yeah Knox I'll go Knox as well just because Southern Penn's sort of struggling with numbers a bit too right now Hume take on Warrandyte yeah. it's a great weekend isn't it uh, yeah, it's a good weekend. Is that Saturday or Sunday? That's a Saturday night. Oh, is it? Not, okay. Yeah. Uh, I think Hume will win that at home. Yeah, Hume City. You've tipped Hume to win the title this season. Hmm. Doesn't mean that they can't drop one along okay, the way. Okay, fair enough. Ring, fair? Ringwood take on Diamond Valley. Uh, Ringwood. Ringwood for me. Um, Ringwood for me. McKinnon, Eltham. Surely McKinnon. McKinnon. Well, it's last roll of the dice for them. If they lose this... Like then they're, you're they're, just they're by them. edge of the cliff at the moment. If they lose this, they have just stepped off the cliff. Yeah, yeah McKinnon. I, I think McKinnon win. Yeah, uh, Waverley and Melbourne. Waverley will continue Waverley. to win that one. Uh, and they've they've got to keep winning as well. But they were very good last week. State champ women, get out there and support your teams. Round fourteen. Don't forget Friday night. Get out there and support this one during school holidays. I like it. It's Diamond Valley and Warrandyte. What time is the game? I think it's eight. Is it a double header out there? DV men playing? No, it's not. So it might just be that game, eight o'clock. I think it's eight. Might be okay. easy game before. Oh, yes, maybe possibly. you. Check it out anyway. Bigv.com.au. We'll see you next week on Big V TV. Mm-hmm.